We good? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, this autofocus is going to be really annoying. Maybe I'll change it. Sweet. Hey, Devin. I don't know if I want to mess with the autofocus. Because if I'm going to be talking to you guys, my computer's down here. And it's going to be like <laughs> with my face. Hello, Ryan. Good job, good day. Hey, Neil. This is so easier. I'm really enjoying having my computer here so I can actually talk to you guys instead of going like this at my phone. Okay, hold on, let me fix the autofocus. Wait, let me move back a little bit. Here we go. How's that? So I know the quality is, I don't think the quality is going to be better than like 720p because I don't have one of those 4K whoosie what's it's things or whatever. But this is better than a phone. I don't care what anybody says. Ah, uh, the Pal Patrol Sergeant is here. Hello, sir. Hey, Josh. Pause. Like, <laughs> like in Discord. <laughs> Top 10 Adidas. Hey, Maddie. Hold on. Because you guys are going to ask about her later. <gasps> it's pancake. Look at that tongue. Ooh, cover your bits. Cover your bits. All right. I trapped her in here. There's a blanket with a fuzzy, or there's a pillow with a fuzzy blanket on the floor right next to the camera. So she's going to be hanging out. She does not like cameras. I think she knows. I'll put you down. Ah, relax. Good girl. Okay. Uh, I do have a tiny treat for you guys, for you early folks. These came in from Uprise today. So I've looked at them once. Uh, there you go. Look at that. Some kind of chew thing. Um, these are interesting. I don't know if I like them. I mean, I don't know. I like the fact that they're mismatched. But the overall color palette is like, yeah, it's still colorful, but it's not really like bright colors. So they're cool, but uh, they're kind of like turduckins to me, honestly. What do you guys think? Yeah, I hit Uprise. I hit an 11 and a half. There's a couple places that I can't like enter different sizes for. Uprise is one of them because they know my size. What do I think of Kick Who God Killer? I don't even know who that is. They are a fat tongue. I like them okay. I don't love them. Hey, Benizer, fella. It's been new cleaning machines. Oh, nice. Yes, thank you. I'm so glad that the code is back, you guys. Like, it's. I did like maybe one video in the last two months for Rejuvenator. <laughs> Because there's no point, like, here, use a referral link. Oh, by the way, you have to pay full price. Ah, uh, Amor, what's up, dude? Uh, yeah, you're going to have to, yeah, you have to go to size 13. They don't make 12 and a halfs. If they, if you have a 12 and a half and SBs, you have a fake pair of SBs. Put it that way. Hey, hey, are you in here still? Yeah. Okay, cool. I closed the door. It's not like she can walk through doors. She's not vision. 
Increíble, Hawaii. Okay, we will talk after the box. Now I have to do the spiel like I'm on a podcast or something. Hey there, creeped out yet? Nope. How about now? Okay, good. Welcome to the channel. I'm SB Mitch. I do unboxings and the occasional review. Uh, and I'm not good at this, so there's that. Uh, you can follow me at uh, SBXMitch on Twitter. And that's all in the video description below because I'm not advanced enough to have cool stuff in videos on live ones at least. But I unbox a Soul Supremacy Beater Box or some other place every Friday. Uh, we're doing a live one because I do a live one every month because it's really fun. As soon as I figure out how to do like good live streams, then that's what I'm going to do every month. Um, everyone who watches these videos has been here for a month or years. They're pals, so I appreciate all of you stopping by. Um, the box today we got is actually one of the more expensive boxes. I try to stay away from $1,000 plus boxes because... <sighs> They usually suck. I'm not going to lie. I mean, there's like usually like one or two good pairs and the rest of them are just like a bunch of Hirachis and Roshis and stuff. No one wants those. Uh, but this box was 1225 bucks plus 50 bucks to ship it here to the Windy City. Uh, so this thing ended up costing uh, 1275 So the nice thing about these Soul Supremacy beater boxes, soulsupremacy.com, at Soul Supremacy, is they price the boxes at what they pay out for the shoes that they're buying in. So there's no markup. The only money they make off these boxes is membership fees and any leftover from shipping, which isn't much usually. So there's always good good market value in these. So let's open this box. It's right here. Oh, oh I'm so old. But you can see it says 1225 right there. They always put underneath the shipping label how much the box is worth. So this box has been sitting here for literally like four weeks. I have another box over here next to my dog that I haven't opened yet because I'm going to open it maybe Thursday, I guess. Oh, i got to open the middle, too. Whoa, lots of Jordan. Ha! Take that, hype beasts. Lots of Jordans. Holy cow. Oh, there's a pack in here, though. Uh, okay. First shoe out. Size 12. It's a U.S. men's 12. What year is this? God, I'm so old. 2013? Yeah. 2013 release. Jordan 5. Some grapes. They're size 12. They're worn. There's a little bit of discoloration on the outsole. Some dirt and stuff, so i got to clean them up. Um, insole wear is oh, not going to show up because I don't have great lighting in here. But there are lace locks. Midsoles are in good shape. Just a little bit older. So there's your first shoe out. Size 12. Great fives. 2013 release. A little bit of cloudy air, air unit there too, but that happens with Whoops. Uh, these shoes will be available this Friday at sbmitch.com at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The ones I have to clean. I hope I don't have a lot to clean. Hi, Seth. All right. More jump, man. We got a size 12 Jordan 3 Retro. Mm. He's dead stock. Whoa. Box, cooperate with me here, fella. This is live. We talked about this. Uh, dead stock fire reds. Dude, this is awesome. What year? These are these are 20. Oh, I'm so old. 2013 again. Probably from the same collector, honestly. But these are dead stock. Uh, ooh, that's not good. There's a little bit of a. Uh, glue stuff there. At least I think it's glue. I don't want to pick at it because it's on the midsole. These are older. Like, yeah, on the back. But they're dead stock. Wow, that's pretty crazy to have a dead stock pair from 2013. Uh, so good. Less to clean. Easy to list. There you go. Size 12. Fire red threes. If 
if you're here for the Adidas, you're going to be leaving unhappy. Trust me. Uh, I don't know where to put these. I'm in a different spot than I usually am. Mm -hmm. Says 12, Jordan 17 plus retro. Oh, nice. And these are also dead stock. These are copper 17s, right? Uh, these are cool. These are these retro in like what 2014 or 2015 or something like that. These are pretty recent, I think. 17s. People that love 17s will go to bat for these, but not a lot of people seem to be super, super high on these. I think 17s are cool. I like the silhouette. I also like 16s though, so I think this is a cool shoe. Uh, lots of really neat details. It's even got the film over the copper still. So yeah, these are brand new, unworn, dead stock pair. There you go, size 12. Right, copper 17s, yeah, cool. More dead stock, please. This is fantastic. Excuse me, size 12, Jordan 4. Oh boy. Nice, 2012s. Looks to be that way. Dude, dead stock 2012 breads, dope. I didn't mean they retro last year, but that's the biggest difference is the jump man on the heel tab. But again, unworn, cool. It looks like someone may have just unlaced these, or maybe just the factory lace came undone. But yeah, these these have not been tried on or anything. Dude, nice. Awesome. Digging on some dead stock and some size 12. These are good sizes for Jordans too. So there you go. 112 breads. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is, I'm happy with this. This is good stuff. There is a pack in here. The pack is going to be last because it's a good pack. But if that pack is dead stock. Woo size 12 Jordan 11 retro low. Oh, cool. These are dead stock too. Awesome. Tuxedos. There's just a little bit of outsole discoloration there, uh, mostly around the tread and stuff like that. But these are from like 2014, 2015 too. Cool. Cool colorway, I think. Uh, I think it's, I mean, it's basically a reverse Concord if you look at it that way. Um, yeah, these are, these are slick. And again, dead stock pair. Not the greatest time to get lows because it's the middle of winter, but at the same time, it's still an 11. 11 lows might not have the hype that regular 11s do, but this is still a really good pair. So there you go. Size 12. Tuxedo 11 lows. Not many shoes in here, but all but one are dead stock, if this pack is dead stock. And it's good, and you guys can tell by the big silver area. It's the Defining Moments pack with the 6 and the 11 in it, the 11 is probably one of the best 11s ever to release. Yeah, size 12. Whoa, if these are dead stock, dude. Hold on, let me do this a little bit safer. Jeez, oh, Pete. Look at that, no cracking, mint. Sorry for the light glare. I think these are dead stock too. Let's look at the six. The biggest issue with these old sixes, a lot of the times the heel tab will break. It's got the little booklet thing in here too. It's pretty cool. Yoink. See the wingspan of the goat. It's supposed to be up on the side actually the wrong side so the biggest thing with these sixes is a lot of the times the heel tab thingy will break these are dead stock nice yeah here's the sixes it's got the little dog tag there no wear on the bottoms obviously still got everything inside of it lace lock these things break really really easily so you got to be a little bit more careful you can see the biggest difference on there is this 23 on the back which is really cool and just gold accents throughout of course, you probably know these retroed last year in a kind of roundabout way. 
because people were dying for the 11 retro too, just because it's part of this pack. But okay, let me take a look at the 11s. I would very, very, I would be very pleased if these 11s are dead stock. Because if the 11s are dead stock, I mean, just this pack by itself is probably worth over a grand. At least I think so. I'm not going to do that now. It's going to take forever. <laughs> yes! Dead stock DMP 11s. Never, ever, ever, ever complain about this. Got the gold jump man on there. I mean, it's basically a Concord with some gold accents. This is the this is the best eleven ever to release. That's not OG enough, I guess you could say. Dope, awesome. This is great. Quick, someone tell me how much this pack is worth. Dead stock. Size twelve. Yeah, these are all size twelve set. So you could fit one and a half of your f in here. This pack has got to be worth at least 900000 I mean, it is older, but, uh, dang. Dude, nice. I'm very happy with that. Let's back together. So there's only one worn shoe in this entire box. Okay, that's awesome. That's really awesome. That is something I will definitely never take, take for granted when I'm getting these boxes. Don't get me wrong. I love the active cleaning sneakers. Don't ask me why. I'm a huge weirdo. But I have one pair to clean tomorrow before the website update on Friday because I have everything from the box that's coming on Friday already loaded in the website. So that's a $1,225 Soul Supremacy Beater box. Wow. Okay. Quick analysis. Lots of dead stock pairs. That's good. OG colorways, fire red threes, bread fours, even the coppers. I mean, you guys could consider that OG. The DMP, even the grapes. The grapes are a good pair. What's the other? Oh, the tuxedo lows. I think this box is really good. I think there's a solid four hundred to five hundred dollar profit in this in this box, even after fees and stuff like that. So, I don't know. What you guys think? Dude, Grim, I have no idea why YouTube is holding all of your comments for review. It's not like you're cussing. Cuss words are definitely held for review and rejected. Let me get this out of the way. Cool. All right. Now I'm going to go look at the chat and see what you guys think. dance around and do a live breakdown no i'm not that talented break it down <laughs> yeah i had to stop using hammer i got nailed for one copyright strike and i'm like nope can't do that anymore i feel like i'm like way off center let me move this camera a little bit here we go hey polly yeah, they're all huge, huge sizes. For me, for me, for some reason, size 12 moves really, really easily. Why? There's no reasoning behind it other than the fact that everyone is Amazonian, I guess. I mean, let's face it. YouTube can be stupid with copyrights, but it's 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 you can't touch us by MC Hammer, a gigantic hit from the early early 90s to late 80s. I was asking for it. Uh, no, this is just my desk. My shoe stuff is that way. Because I need lights coming at me, and there's a wall right here, so I can't use lights right there. Chicago is buns. Chicago rules. I love this town. Yeah, you know what, too? And there's, um, oh, wait. I'm so stupid, Jake. Yeah, okay. So this is probably the box that I got the same week that you got that one DS box with all the size 12s in it, too. Uh, 
Uh, don't send me links on Instagram because I will not check them. I don't check Instagram DMs. Like I have Instagram notifications turned off. Email them to me or else I'm not, I'm honestly not going to see them. What do I clean my sneakers with? Why? None other than Rejuvenator and the Rejuvenator family of cleaning products. If you want to save 10% on your order from Rejuvenator, use the code SBMitch10 at checkout. And remember, they have free shipping and free returns. I'm going to go jump into an active volcano now. This one's not sponsored. I can say that though. Thanks, Dave. No, but in all seriousness, like I use Rejuvenator like crazy. Like I cleaned up a pair of Volt foam posits. It's going to be in a video probably Saturday or something like that. Um, and they turned out really, really good. Like they weren't super beat up. There were some stains and some stuff that I can't do because I don't paint, but. I mean, I, re I use Rejuvenator on all the shoes in these boxes that need it, on my personals. Um, that's the only thing you can use on. You can use it on hats, too. That's how well this stuff works. It's pretty cool. And Jason, these are all too big for you. What is my day job? Yeah. Why do a lot of SBs stop at size 12? Uh, SBs stop basically at size 13. Anything above size 13 that you find is a unicorn size. And basically, I mean, anything above size like 10 and a half is hard to find anyway because people that wear SBs wear size 10 and a half and up. It's just hard to come by. Hey, Pags. I've ever seen a seven foot skateboarder. I haven't. Um, Tony Hawk is pretty tall, though, I think. And I've seen him in person once. All the, all the skateboarders I know are like kind of short, actually. <laughs> Brad Cromer's not very tall. Mike Lilly's not very tall either. Finding SB done clothes is 14 in 14 is it's literally impossible. It's not it's not very, very tough. It's dang near impossible. They have made size 17 SBs. Like that's how LeBron and like all those dudes have them now. Uh, but they're very, very hard to find. They're extremely difficult to find. Pancake, what's up? Let's say hi one more time. Oh yeah. Pancake is on steroids daily, so she's getting buff. She also has a really bad leg, so that's why you guys like I don't see her, I don't put her on that often because it stresses her out a little bit. So I don't want to freak her out. What do you think? Yeah? Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Do you wanna go? Do you wanna go? Here. Bye. I think he wanted out, so that happens. Good God. I don't think I've actually ever met anyone in person that were. Nope, I met Skeezy. Never mind. <laughs> I did, Paul. It was all size 12 Jordans, like mid 2000s Jordans. What size is Travis Scott? I believe Travis Scott is a size 11 or 10 and a half, something like that. Yeah, the only person I've ever met that's size 17 is like, I think he's like six foot eight or something like that. He's a big dude. Travis Scott is a size untalented. <laughs> 
I really don't like the fact that I can't play any music while I'm doing this because I have I have an external microphone hooked up, so I'm actually talking like my lapel mic is just like kind of hanging out on the camera. Yeah. Thirteens. Okay. So I saw. Here's your options. Get a size twelve. It's going to be mega tight. Get a size thirteen. It's going to be a little bit loose. Remember, as you get older, your feet expand because your ligaments get uh, rubbery. I learned this from my brother. Is Kyle in here? Uh, so eventually you'll fit into a size 13 anyway. Got it. That's just my my email just went up. Ah, I wasn't sad. The Browns did good this season. The, the Browns were like five, six points away from being in the AFC Championship game after being 0-16 14, or four years ago. I am not mad at all about that. <laughs> How old are we talking? What do you mean the shoes? How old are the shoes? Mike. Jeff S. Is that his face? Yes, or whatever. <laughs> Favorite non SB dunk this year? Y'all, those free 99 dunks that are coming out. Oh my goodness. How old when your feet size up? Probably like 45 to 50, something like that. Uh, those free 99 dunks, the white ones, not the black ones, uh, are insane. And I'm looking very much, very much forward to those. I doubt I'm going to keep the street hoggers. I'm going to hold them. I couldn't remember. I didn't even know how to say the thing. So, yeah, Jeff, you know. I mean, you wear, not, you wear Air Max like crazy. Yes, I live in Chicago. Shelby, I live in Chicago. Why not the black ones? You can't ask me that question this week. The dunk ID, how did I feel about it? I had two really cool designs I wanted to do, and they just never worked because everyone and their mom was trying to get one. I don't think anyone was able to get like an actual designed Nike ID dunk because they just went too fast. So I think people had to get like the stock ones or whatever. <sighs> wow, it's already been a half an hour already. It's kind of weird. Last pair I kept from my personal collection. I'm also selling through a bunch of my shoes right now. So, um, here's a pair I got recently. Let me grab them. So this is a 2005 release. This is the only high that I've ever really liked, and it's probably the best colorway combination of any Nike Dunk SB I've ever seen. These are the 2005 Send Help highs. It's a Todd Braytrude uh, collaboration. There's a Send Help one and a Send Help two. This is the one. Uh, it's just an older pair. I got them from uh, I got them from Gusto. So then Gusto the, the Ninja, if you guys know Chris Purvis. Um, I mean, look at the suede on this. I'm just going to pick it up. Is it my hand? Hello, hand? Can you see it? There we go. Now you can kind of see it. See the suede? Woo! Woo, baby. Sneak City has been buying a little older sneaks. I don't know what Sneak City is. No, this is, just, this is just regular water. And I'm already through my entire cup because I'm talking so much get rid of in my collection of the what the dunks obviously actually mm, it would be between the what the dunks and the uh, atmos elephants yeah the uh the uh purple sbs there's a lot of stock like there's more than chicago's i'll be honest with you guys i don't watch many sneaker people on youtube like i watch seth I watch He Got Kicks, I watch The Vintage, I watch Foamer, I watch Untied, I watch uh, Tiot Soul, um, this new cat, Out of Stock Kicks, who I watch. Um, what other sneaker YouTubers do I watch? I mean, I don't even can consider him a sneaker YouTuber. I watch Tom Stefaniak every once in a while. Um, yeah, but I don't watch them. Like most of the stuff I watch on YouTube is either old SNL stuff or I watch a lot of Polygon. 
because I think their videos are absolutely hysterical. And the McElroy Brothers stuff, too. Monster Factory is where it's at. Yeah, I watch Untied. I'll watch Untied every once in a while. Um, I mean, I watch all their videos. It, I'll at least watch, like, the first couple minutes because I want to support them and get them the AdSense revenue, but still. Yeah, the Atmos elephants went up big time. V, thank you. Much appreciated. Hope everything's well. Uh, yeah, Marie said you were having a hard time, so stay up, buddy. Am I a metalhead? Mm. I wouldn't say I'm a metalhead. More of like a hardcore punk dude, I guess. But uh, I do enjoy some like Sledge and Doom and like that kind of stuff. Oh, there he is. Dr. Aaron. Uh, is Mahomes going to be good to go next weekend? Good. Good. Thank you, V. Um, because I'll be honest, Aaron, <laughs> my secondary team has always been the Buffalo Bills because when the Browns relocated, relocated, I went toward the Bills because they were closer and I didn't want to root for Pittsburgh. Um, so the fact, if it would have been the Bills versus the Browns in the AFC Championship game, I probably would have, I don't know what I would have done. I would have been happy either way, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm very familiar with Mr. Sh or with Mr. Show. Trust me. Oh, you didn't got to send me nothing, man. I'll email you anyway, though. I don't know too much about propaganda. I know more about propaganda as people, I guess, and then I know their music. Let me put it that way, if that makes sense. Yeah, it was a pretty violent hit. It's definitely not like Mac, Mac, Mac Wilson to do something like that. He's a clean player, so that was just kind of out of nowhere. Hmm. Throw some band names out. Let's see. Uh, Poison the Well, Every Time I Die, Scarlet, Spitfire, um, Deftones, obviously, um, Turmoil, Stretch Armstrong, Sick of It All, Vision of Disorder, um, PJ, what up, man? Um, Cole S is okay. They're a little bit too, like, more math rock type for me. I think the most, like, math I can go is, like, botch. Or maybe even DEP, Dillinger Escape Plan, but I, I wouldn't consider them math anymore. Turnstile is awesome. I do love Turnstile. I saw them tour with, uh, I almost call them the shitty dudes. The, the fucking, uh, Every time I die, when they played in Philly, they played with Turnstile, and I was just like, "I, those dudes are awesome." Not really a fan of Queens of the Stone Age. Too stoner, too stoner for me. Switch to drop fronts. I have drop fronts in right now. I just took the cover off because I hate those things. Turnstile's good, and Turmoil's good too. I will say that. I really like Queens of Stone Age. Skate Punk Love. I have no idea what that is. I'm not going to lie. Ow. Dang it. Favorite generation on SNL. My favorite cast member of all time is Bill Hader. So whenever Bill Hader was there. Uh, that dude is so good at being so bad. <laughs> it's, it's the funniest thing in the world. Uh, Musical Waste is okay. I'm not a huge fan. We're talking about music that isn't... Drake? Is that a guy you like? I don't know what kind of music you like. Oh, thanks, Matt. Bill Burr. Eh, he's okay. I think he's a good I think he's a better actor than he is a comic. 
put it that way. Tons of Adidas. All the Adidas. Oh, I'm dropping things left and right. Whoop, my light's still on. There we go. New participants joined them. What is this? Hey, Colin. I don't know who you like. Favorite rapper? Padrino, help me out here, dude. Probably the only hip hop group I've ever really listened to and really enjoyed was Yes, I love I love the whole HOV lane. Uh Tribe Called Quest. They were very, very good. At most wacky Wednesday. I don't know what that is. I I know like two Jay-Z songs. And I basically only know them because I've heard the metal remixes of them. <laughs> Cage the Elephant. Why does that sound familiar? You can say Snapple. We all know it was Fanta. What is Gucci? What is Gucci Mane? Uh, I think I know like maybe two or three Outcast songs, but I have made coffee for Andre 3000 a couple times. He's very short, and he drives a powder blue uh, BMW station wagon. Like Kith Mondays. Oh, Kith. I love you, Ronnie. Dude, such a cornball. Cage, why is it's really gonna bug me? Cage the elephant. Isn't that like a like an indie band or something like that? Rise Against is cool. They're from here. How did I get so dang cute? Uh, I a lot of depression, a lot of eating. Nutter butters, the cookies. Mmm. Here, Rise, I saw Rising Ones open up for Deftones and Thrice in Bend. It was a good show. How are the materials on the Street Hawkers? Um, kind of nice. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of different materials. There's ostrich leather. There's some nappy suede. There's some regular suede. There's canvas. There's like kind of almost like the the uh, De La Soul uh, material that's on there. It's there's a lot going on. I'm doing a closer video, a closer look video, probably coming out next. No, next Monday's recap day. Uh, there might be a heavy video week then. Uh, but they're good. I just don't really like the colorway that much. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's so funny because like any of the pairs that I really, like, truly, really, really want, like the Atmos, the Elephants. I wanted those and I couldn't get them for retail, but I got these for retail. Non-music related, where do I get the boxes to ship my shoes from? Uh, Staples, honestly. Staples has really good prices on boxes. Plus you can find a coupon like everywhere. I have to listen to Cage the Elephant. I feel like I know, I feel like that's a band that I heard of when I lived in Portland. I feel it's like one of those like indie rock bands. I only I only reuse boxes when they're going to go because I don't like using reusing boxes for the business stuff. Trophy room, room Jordan ones. Uh, it's a Jordan one. It looks like a Chicago colorway. How innovative! Uh, Marcus Jordan is probably one of the most masturbatory people in the entire world. Uh, Habibis were definitely limited. Well, they were, it's not that they were limited. It's just there there were more released in the EU and um, the United Arab Emirates than anywhere else. They released mostly in the EU and the UAE. 
and U.S. I know Asia Pacific didn't get as many as a lot of places. Oh my God, shoes, my dude. The focus is okay. Is the stream okay? Like I don't know how my internet's doing right now. Oh, I think of the carpet company dunk highs. Cool concept. I just don't like highs. Um, it's probably one of the better highs that have come out in the past couple of years. The uh, Doraemons is probably the best that's come out. Uh, and the Paul Rodriguez ones were very, very good. But other than that, we saw Cage the Elephant together in Portland. Oh, were they at that... Um, were they at that brewery thing we went to? Oh, that's right. Okay, so apparently I do know who Cage the Elephant is. <laughs> Name one off-white shoe I accept. Oh, dude, the off the off-white Prestos from the original release. Those are awesome. I don't mind the UNCs either. They're just, you know. Virgil is slowly turning into Kanye, in my opinion. He's using nothing but sale, just like Kanye uses nothing but beige. Oh, yeah, 40. I'm going to stop at 45 minutes. Yeah, the carpet company, is, it's a cool idea. Uh, I kind of like the Thomas Campbell. I had a pair. Uh, that was right before the quality on SBs started to go up. But that pair has some of the worst quality leather I've ever felt in my entire life. Those things made my feet bleed. I had the Thomas Campbells and I turned around, I bought them, I bought them for like 200 Turned around and sold them for 350 And I was like, oh, cool, I'm awesome. Thanks, D-Man. D-Man. <laughs> What's Gusto posting? So yeah, it's a cool shoe. What the Koda JPs? What do I think of the two dunk lows that are inspired by the Porsche race? Okay, yeah, okay, here. This is actually something I, I do want to talk about. The pink ones are eh. The blue ones are cool. Since when does racing or cars have anything to do with skateboarding. Same thing with high-end liquor. Like, SB was the line that released, like, Miller High Life Highs and Jameson Lowe's and stuff like that. Like, where did this hypnotic and Hennessy crap come from? Like, I don't understand it. Is skateboarding, like, posh now or something? Because when I, when I was, like, actually skateboarding for, like, the two and a half years I did, it was, like, being dirty Sweating a lot, being punk rock, cutting yourself open, and drinking crappy beer. Like, it's it just makes no sense to me. Good luck, Ty. Crush it. Crush it, home. Yes, I opened the box uh, approximately half an hour ago. Free 99s are awesome. I said that earlier. The free 99s are mm, probably one of the better non-SBs that have released in a long time. I have the Violetech Dunk Lows, and I love them. But these free 99s are... Oh, whew. See, I like the white ones better because there's more contrast. The black ones, they just look too heavy. If they did a black if they did black side paneling with a white swoosh, I can understand. But having a black swoosh with black side paneling just doesn't look good. Yes, Hesh, Hesh and Fresh, dude. I used to hang around with a bunch of dudes that called themselves the Heshers. Worst SB of 2020. That's super easy. The Atlas Dunk High. Those things are ugly and they're unnecessary. Cool story. Ugly and unnecessary, though. The uh, I like the golf ones. Just because there's some contrast. The pink ones are cool. There's just it's all one color on the upper, and then 
black outsole and white midsole. Like you could have made that in the in the uh, ID. At least with the with the blue ones, there's some contrast, different laces, and you have that bright orange outsole too. Uh, here for everyone that didn't see it, here's the box. Uh, we had a pair of oh, <laughs> at least most of our dead stock. Size twelve, grape fives. Dead stock twenty thirteen fire red threes. Uh, dead stock tuxedo eleven lows. Dead stock twenty twelve bread fours. Copper 17s, dead stock as well. I'm not opening it, but a dead stock, size 12 of the DMP, uh, 6 and 11. So a lot of dead stock shoes, easy moves, not much to clean. Good box in my opinion. SBs are not going to be on Foot Locker and Chance. It's just dunks, not SBs, just dunks. It's a misconstruation a lot of people have been making. Uh, I would have to look it up, but it's probably like three to five hundred dollars, depending on how much they sell for it. I would think. Oh, it's Nate. Yeah, didn't realize it. Yeah, no, SBs are still going to be skate shop only. Uh, just regular dunks are going to be mass produced, and they're going to be available in like um, on the apps and inside of foot sites and stuff. Habibi versus Sean Cliver. Throw them both out. I don't like either of them. Habibis are cool, at least because there's contrast. Um, Cliver's... Man, after the Strange Love release, anything related to Sean Cliver leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I don't like that, dude. Oh, I'm almost at 50 minutes. All right. So two and a half more minutes. I'm sticking around. Especially when there's only 39 people in here. Man, all, all of you guys are still here. Thanks for hanging out. This is cool. SB dunk hype. I think SB, SB hype won't really ever die. It'll die slower, if anything, because there's still that limited aspect to it. But dunks are going to be... Dunks are going to be like mids now. Like they're going to be available everywhere. They're going to be sitting uh, because it's like, like you found what's the next wave is and they're just going to kill it like they did with uh, React 87s and all that other stuff too. Exactly. Yeah. I was, I was in Portland for the 15 year anniversary and that was like one of the coolest experiences of my entire life. Weeds. The highs or the lows? I like the lows. There was a, there was a size 11 and a half tweed low for like 400 bucks at Worm in Japan. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, Luca. Best sleeper steal on my website. Uh, if you want to talk about steals, sleeper steals right now, uh, hold off because $50 February is in, a, is in a week and a half. Favorite underrated SB. The Gulf of Mexico, or yeah, the Gulf of Mexico Dunk Lows. I love that colorway. Such a cool shoe. Oh, the brick houses. Wow, I haven't I haven't seen or heard of them in a really long time. So, someone mentioned one of the weird releases. Oh, the raw meat dunk highs. Oh, and someone recently got those pic ants at a picnic dunk highs too. That I know. Will there be any size twelve for fifty February? Probably. 
I have a comprehensive list. You guys will notice like the next couple boxes are like all four hundred to five hundred dollars because I just needed bulk pairs for fifty dollars February. Yeah, mosquitoes are okay. I think the asparagus are a little bit more low key than the mosquitoes. All right, we're at fifty minutes. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, Again, these shoes will be on my website Friday. And yeah, Paul Rodriguez High is one of the best. Yeah, P-Rods. I told you about this. You know this, Pedrino. Um, thanks again, guys. Have a good night. And uh, keep sneakers fun or whatever. What do I say? Yeah, whatever. That thing. Be cool. Don't be a jerk. And have a good night. Bye. Wait, wait. There we go. End stream. Okay, toodles. Thank <laughs> you.